what's going on A's Nation? We are here for yet again another A's game day. First off, Happy New Year to everybody in A's Nation from myself and of course the Brampton A's. Your A's are coming off of a 115-108 loss to the Ottawa Skyhawks back at the end of 2013 in Ottawa. Tonight we are hosting the London Lightning and this is only the second time that these two teams have played. The previous matchup, the A's came away with a 108-101 victory in London at Budweiser Gardens. Kevin Francis was the hot hand that night. He finished with 25 points, 7 rebounds, and was 4 of 4 from the three-point line. Melvin Council added in 70 points, and Cedric Moody had a big triple-double with 15 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. Keys to the game tonight is going to be bench scoring. If the A's can get production from the bench, it will limit the amount of pressure that the starters are going to have on their shoulders to score. If the A's can get a lot of scoring threats, not only from the starters and the bench, it will put the pressure defensively on the London Lightning. Another key to the game is going to be rebounding. The A's will need to crash the boards, not only on the defensive end, but also the offensive end. In the previous matchup, the A's were out rebounded 54 to 45, 22 of which came on the offensive boards for the Lightning, which led to 23 second chance opportunity points. The A's will need to keep the Lightning off the offensive boards to limit their chance on offense and limit the amount of times that the A's will be on offense putting pressure on the Lightning defense. Your possible starters for tonight's game, which of course are always subject to change for the London Lightning, Tony Bennett, Maurice Bolden, Tim Ellis, Marvin Phillips, and their leading scorer, Garrett Williamson. For your Brampton A's, Melvin Council, Kevin Francis, Glenn Whitfield, Jamison Tipping, and Evolved Zabez. For all game action, you can always check it out at BramptonAce.ca, follow us on Twitter at BramptonAce, and of course on our Facebook page.